Feedback. Thank you. It's so nice to see lots of people going. Nice night. Uh, I have something for you, a very special thing. I'd like to begin by doing. I'd like to see Henry Winkler out here doing this shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just did that to piss off Mr. T. <laughs> you see his ass? You tell me you'll do the series or do it again? Goddamn. Now, I'll... damn, sorry. <laughs> Motherfucker, don't. So nice seeing white people talking black. <laughs> motherfucker, damn, damn, Jack, I'll see our motherfucker. You see, black people go, interesting concept. <laughs> so, even Chinese people try and talk black. Motherfuck, don't come, my fuck, down. Yeah, my down, don't fuck with me, my fuck, don't jump, my eye, don't jump. What are you saying? Don't fuck with me, not come on. French people talking black. Motherfucker, mother, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jamea! Oui, she's unreasonable. You know it. Well, uh, let's get up. Look at this, my God. Somewhere. Oh, is it a purse? Is it? It's more than that. Wait, don't. We cast the net into the sea. It's like, my God, somewhere a gay man went, I'm going blind. Fuck this. <laughs> Holding the gay flag is a ritual. I mean, I don't know, damn it. This is wonderful. Jesus. So I see that. Welcome to the island. <laughs> Hello, sailor. I can't see you. Either. Mr. <laughs> Youngman, how are you? I remember sitting with your Jessel and our Jolson. <laughs> there I said, I remember I told Jolson, don't put on the black makeup. James Brown will do it much better. He was crazy, he wanted to dress up like the Schwarzenegger, but I said, no. Well, I'm moving this out of your way, we're blocking you. I... Damn, this is too much fun too early, I should mellow up. <laughs> Man, actually, I shouldn't be here, I should be at home. The wife's about to have a baby, she's at home. Going, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Incredible. I'm gonna have a child. Somewhere there's a rabbit going, you asshole. <laughs> Me, your father, you hear that? I know. Be a daddy. It's always wonderful. It's incredible when your wife becomes pregnant, all of a sudden during the night, about a month later, the titty fairy comes. <laughs> she wake up and like, ah! Oh, honey, where are those from? <laughs> then you go, let me. No, they're for the baby. <laughs> no. Don't worry to me. No, no, it's incredible. Oh, what a lucky little thing. The baby comes out. Oh, my. Silent Moscow. I don't know. Also, when you, I guess, along with being pregnant, the hormone fairy arrives, too. So her moods change. You come home late at night. Hi, honey, I'm back. Oh, good. Where were you? <laughs> no, husband, good. Husband, bring Hagen da. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't have sex after a certain point. It's very hard to go, well, how should we? Well, let's wait. <laughs> you can't imagine having sex with a child inside going, yo, toro, toro, mira, esa. <laughs> and think about that. You must wait. All right. It'll get funny soon. Don't be afraid. I like people sitting there going, interesting. We got it. <laughs> I do. You, have, you must think about that. I guess you have to be prepared when you have a child. You must prepare yourself. Get ready. Every father has a dream. Every father dreams to be his child one day, saying, I'd like to thank the Nobel Academy. He also had this other dream where he's going, you want this to go or eat here? <laughs> no, no, you fool. I don't know. I'll be ready. We went to those childbirthing classes. They have those classes you go, the organic childbirth. Very mellow type of thing. It's an incredible thing you go in. Usually someone, they have a film. Here's Rainbow giving birth to her child Eclipse. You notice she's doing deep breathing exercises? Bullshit! She's screaming, give me medication! <laughs> it's incredible, too, because a child comes out. You think, it's a baby. No, no. It's a little old man. <laughs> little man going, how are you, nice day? 
Excuse me. Nice to see you. Pardon me. Are those tits for me? We'll talk. Nice to be here. Where's Miami? Nice. Okay, we're going there. They do these things before you have a child. They have a thing called ambiosynthesis, where they scan down. And actually, you get to the point where you go, oh, my God, it's a boy, and he's hung like a bear. The doctor drew me aside, Mr. Williams, that's the umbilical. Shit! <laughs> no. Don't cut it, let him dream for a day. <laughs> It'd be incredible if they didn't cut the umbilical cord. You could go around going, yeah, I never met a man I didn't like. And I'd... <laughs>